This is my Prusa MK3S. It's been suffering from a min-bed temp error for a long time. I'm gonna to try to fix it today. Hey, what's up, Duff here? Yes, this is a 3D printing related video, which uh, you don't see much of out of me. Oh, wow, look at, oh, interesting. I had a, I had a, a nut attached, the, there's strong magnets here. There's a nut attached to the bottom of that. Could that have caused an issue? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Um, let me, probably not, probably not, but let me just double check something. So what the heck's going on? I, I don't know. I don't know. I turned it on. I did two things. Um, this printer has been sitting broken for probably most of this year, actually. Um, so I have not lubricated any of the rails on this uh, since I was at my old house, which uh, is a very, very long time ago. This, it probably hasn't been done in two years, I bet, with this thing. So I lubricated all the rails and I'm letting it, I let it do a full calibration, everything. Did a full calibration. It passed the calibrations um, and it appears like it's ready to go. I have not seen that min temp uh, bed error yet. I'm doing a test print and we're going to see if it gets through it. And if it does, I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I like problems that kind of fix themselves. Yeah. Or, or problems that only require a little bit of lubrication to fix, right? That's even better. So I will report back. Okay. So uh, of course it's too good to be true. It did start the print. Uh, but now we got the min temp bed fixed error. This is the original problem that um, I was experiencing. So it's still here. It is not fixed. So I can move on to uh, replacing the thermistor here. Not thermistor. I don't know. What's, what's the proper term for this? I don't know. It's the, it's the bed temperature sensor. Um, that's, that was uh, my plan of action when I started. And I guess that is now my plan of action once again. So I have done this once before, or at least once, I had to replace the sensor. And the way it works is you have to take the bed off. And to take the bed off, there's a ton of little Allen screws. And the annoying part is sometimes uh, they are easy to strip. So, and who knows, some of these could be partially stripped already. So we're gonna try to not do that, but that's what has to happen first. When I was doing that, that test print, I noticed that in the middle, it seemed like the, um, the bed was high. And when I'm taking these screws out, this bed here, or this screw here in the middle is higher than all the other ones. All the other ones are slightly recessed. This one is, is slightly above, slightly above the print bed surface. So that's probably why that was high. So hopefully this procedure will fix that problem. When I put this back together, that would be ideal, right? Okay, luckily these are coming out pretty well. The key, I think the problems I've had with stripping them is if I use an Allen wrench that is not correct. The, the, I think these are the Allen wrenches that came with it, so they're the exact right size. But like if you use a, um, an imperial size accidentally that's close, but not actually correct, you can, can spin and, and, and screw these up. So, and, and if you screw them up, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. You know, like this one, that one feels like it was potentially turned out a little bit. It's a little rounded, but I was able to get it, luckily. Uno mas, as they say. Got them all out without any significant difficulty. So then, turn this over, and this is what we are replacing. This is the temperature probe. This looks like it's not routed correctly. Um, if I remember correctly from the... Oh, oh yeah, shit. That's right. Oh, I gotta be careful. I forgot. You have all these offsets here. Um, you have these little offsets that go on the bed. Uh, so what happens? Yeah, I forgot about that fun part when you reassemble this. Um, okay, that's gonna come off. 
Putting this back together is a pain in the rear end, big time. We got just how much of a pain it is, because it's been a while. We're gonna move the heat bed over here, and a tons of these little, these little offsets that have fallen off already. But anyways, this is what we are replacing. But what I was commenting on was, if I remember correctly, this wire is supposed to go in between here, here, and it says routed along the outside. Now I've, I've had four of these MK3Ss, I think. Uh, my very first one I assembled myself and yeah, it was a nice learning experience, but it was also a very large pain in the ass. Um, and all the other ones I bought, I paid the extra money to have them assembled by Prusa. I do not remember what the situation is on this one, if that is what I did on this one or not. Um, we do need to remove this cover here for the, that covers the wires. Well, actually just, okay. Oh, well this, okay, that's the wrong, it's the wrong size Allen wrench, so it's not gonna do shit. All right, so anyways, let me, let me futz with this a little bit and I'll come back and, and uh, give you a, a summary of where I'm at in the process. I did want to mention the part, the replacement part. I did get it off of um, Printed Solid. Uh, they're, a, they're an American-based company, I believe. I don't know if Prusa bought them outright or what the arrangement is, but uh, there's a, an agreement between Prusa and Printed Solid to be, for Printed Solid to be like a, our primary source for Prusa parts in uh, the United States. So that is, Okay, that is um, where I got it. There is actually a mark right here. This is where the probe is supposed to be, like right here. Um, so now I'm going to just kind of work it off. You have this little wire wrap. I'm going to undo that and pull the wire back through. And then you have to, you have to remove it from the, the board inside the printer. So that takes a little doing. Spin. It's been a, quite a while since I've done any work on my 3D printer, so I guess this is this is a good little refresher. I just I just don't have the the time in. I, I don't know. I'm I'm still interested, but not like I was, obviously. And I and I used to do all kinds of 3D printing for my store, EUCArmy.com, uh, but now I, I sell much less there, so. I don't have the need on that level as well. So, okay, we're gonna pull that wrap back. And how do we get that off? The more I look at this, the more I think this was one that was assembled by Prusa. I would, well, I guess I can show you what I'm looking at over here. I'm trying to do this without losing more of the offsets on the board, but this is where, so the wire comes in here and there's this little, um, wire management thing, I guess you would call it. I gotta take that off and then the wires go into the Rambo, I believe it's called the Rambo system board area. So I just have to trace that bed temperature line, disconnect it, and then connect, and then connect my um, new one in and reverse the, the pro this process here. All right, there we go. My wire, okay, so right here, Right here, I need some light. All right, well, you can't really see what I'm doing, so I'll, I'll, I'll describe it. Okay, here's my fully removed temperature probe. Bed temperature probe. And now we are going to install the new one. And then we just have to kind of work it back into this wire loom material. It was never a strong point for me, but all right, here we go. Get in there. Get in there. All right, that's good enough. I just want to get this in right away before I before I do more more messing with the wires. I just want this in here to to lock it in place, and, and I'm doing a great job at it. A little better now. Um, let's go like this. Okay, that's back in. Now I'm just gonna uh, recombine this into the wire loom. And then we gotta route it back in. Okay, a couple notes with this replacement part that I got from Printed Solid. The, uh, the tape that they give you is significantly smaller. It's two circles as opposed to like bigger squares uh, that I had before. And I just noticed that I covered up, covered up where one of the screws goes. So that's not good. Let's see if I can punch a hole through there. This is where one of the bed screws goes. So that, that's a mistake. 
And also the, the wire that runs uh, back to the board, it, it appears to be uh, longer. Oh, I don't know, maybe it is the same, but I had to pull a bunch of slack out because I had, I had too much slack under here. So uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem or not, but those are the two things that I noticed. So now I gotta punch a hole through there. Awesome. Test, test. All right, so fast forward to um, sparing you from the uh, annoying part of getting these screws back in because you have to, you have to um, you know, go through the, the little offsets. These, I showed them already, but you go through these little offsets here and it's annoying because there's uh, nine of them. So it's, it's a very delicate procedure trying to get all of them on and loosely lined up um, without one falling off. So I have gotten to that point. I am now tightening them up. And then once I tighten them up, it's time to turn the printer on and see if the min temp bed error has been uh, banished. Hopefully it has. Okay, I just um, initialized a new print. We shall see what happens. If it gets all the way through without the min temp bed error, because I haven't been able to do that in forever, if it gets all the way through the print without uh, generating that error, I would say it's fixed. If not, uh, then this is gonna probably go in the closet or something. Uh -oh. So uh, Z leveling enforced, uh, what does that mean? Uh, bed is, it says some problem encountered, Z leveling enforced. Uh, because I just put the, uh, the reattached the bed, I may have to go through the calibration, maybe, of the bed again. So let's see. Two hours later. Okay, a, a couple days have elapsed. I haven't gotten a chance to get back here just to give a summary on this. Uh, did some test prints in the printer. Printer printed um, A OK. -okay. After doing the calibration, I went through the full setup procedure on the, uh, on the MK3S and Test prints are good. So replacing that sensor, the, the sensor fixed the min temp bed error. So yeah. So long time since I did a 3D video, here you go. If you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, uh, whether it's my uh, Duff 3D, uh, my Duff 3D channel or my main YouTube channel, please think about giving, um, oh, I just messed up my whole spiel. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Yeah, I know that there hasn't been uh, much content on my channel recently. Um, it, it'll come. Uh, life's, life's gotten a little, a little busy. So, you know, it happens, it happens. So that's all I have for now. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. Today is Saturday, Labor Day weekend, actually. It is now. And uh, that's all I have for now. Till next time, Duffman out. My, my uh, 3D benches are a mess, a mess. Part of that is I've had to be uh, printing some parts because people have been buying some stands. So thank you very much. And thank you for watching till the end of the video. Peace. I would say something went wrong with this print. Something doesn't look quite right.